Abused and neglected animals all fall under the blanket of animal cruelty, but are people who commit these crimes being properly punished? As News 13's Kelly Grossfield tells us, staff at a local animal rescue say they rarely hear of any consequences following these cruel acts. For years, Amy Shepard has been nursing animals back to health. She's the founder of Heartland Rescue Ranch, and she says it's heartbreaking seeing the conditions some of the animals arrive in. It's incredibly painful. Um, the amazing lesson that I've learned is that no matter what these animals have been through, they've forgiven. From ducks with broken beaks, three-legged goats, and horses in need, Shepard and her staff work to help these animals recover. She's no stranger to abused and neglected animals, but a recent case where two dogs went untreated with a dangerous skin condition was the last straw. Treatment should be sought way sooner than it was, and someone who lets an animal get in that condition should never be allowed to own another animal. Shepard reported multiple cases to law enforcement in the past and saw no repercussions. I want something to be done. I don't want these crimes to go unpunished any longer. Law enforcement says charges depend on the circumstances of the case. Every case is a, is a case by case basis, but certainly if there's a indication of an animal being abused or neglected, then uh, we're going to charge them. Charges can range from citations to criminal offenses, but every case is different. Anyone who believes an animal is being abused or neglected is urged to call the sheriff's office or animal control. In Bay County, Kelly Grossfield, News 13. While staff at Heartland Rescue Ranch continue their fight against animal cruelty, they're also trying to help our furry friends who lost everything in the Franklin County fires. They are collecting pet food and supplies to bring over to East Point. If you're interested in helping, you can contact Heartland Rescue Ranch directly.